We're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this equipment. The pneumatic impact gun is a time-saving tool that is powered by compressed air. It is used to remove fasteners. Be sure to wear your safety glasses and hearing protection when using the impact gun. The impact gun has three controls. The airflow control changes the amount of air flowing through the gun. This controls the strength of the gun. The rotation direction control changes the direction of rotation of the gun's drive shaft. The trigger control starts and stops the rotation of the impact gun's drive shaft. Use good ergonomic position when operating this tool. Check with your teacher. Consider lowering the vehicle for a good position. Pneumatic tools should be lubricated on a daily basis. Place a couple drops of air tool oil in the inlet air connection of the impact gun before using it. Review the MSDS. Use only approved impact rated attachments with an impact gun. These attachments are usually black in color and made sturdier than standard chrome sockets and extensions. Select an impact socket that fits snugly on the nut you are going to remove. The socket must fit snugly on the nut to avoid damaging the nut. Note the safety clip on the end of the drive of the impact gun. It is there to ensure sockets do not accidentally slip off the drive. Impact extensions have a detente ball for the same purpose. Always be sure these safety devices are working correctly before using the impact gun. Always be sure the airline is disconnected from the impact gun before removing or installing attachments. Move the rotation direction control into a position so the impact gun will remove the nut. The air pressure should always be off when attaching or disconnecting airlines of pneumatic tools. Be sure to drain any moisture from the air hose valve attachment. Connect the airline to the air inlet of the impact gun. Turn the airline flow control valve back to the on position. Hold the impact gun firmly in place with both hands so the socket is covering the nut. Never operate the gun unless the socket is firmly on the nut. Press the trigger briefly to remove the nut. Release the trigger as soon as the nut is removed. For some people, the vibration from the impact gun may irritate the nerves in their hands or arms. If you feel a tingling sensation in your hands or arms after using the impact gun, let the instructor know. Anyone else working in your area should stand in front or behind the impact gun. Standing beside the impact gun will put them at risk of being hit by flying materials. Once you are finished using the impact gun, turn off the air pressure before disconnecting it from the airline. Bleed the air out. Wipe clean the impact gun, attachments, and airline. Return them to their proper locations. Using an impact gun to install fasteners is not recommended. It is difficult to ensure the correct tightening torque. Use a torque wrench to install fasteners. Let's do our tool safe review. Make sure you put on your PPE. Prepare your workspace with the right tools and socket extension pieces. Review the controls and manual for your tool. Determine what hoist height is best to have the car at for working. Review the MSDS for the tool lubricating oil. Understand and maintain the shop air hose system well. Use this tool in brief durations. Listen and stop when the work is done. Don't use the impact gun for tightening. Use the torque wrench. Return your tool parts to correct locations. Wrap the hose and check your work. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.